Welcome to Digital Toolbox. Today we're going to apply interval boxes to our list of points to create our staircase. And I also add three new sliders. They're called Step Width, Landing Tread, and Landing Width, since we're going to create a landing with our staircase also. So to get started, I'm going to go to Surface, go to Primitive, and grab an interval box. Now apply this box to the list of points. And now we have a staircase, but they're all with the same list. I mean same uh, dimensions of 1 since x and y and z is default by 1 feet. So we want to apply this to our sliders. We also need to convert our um, increments into inches. So I'm going to go to logic, grab a one variable expression, and change the expression to x over 12. I'm going to copy this and paste it. The thickness needs to be changed into inches and also the tread. So x is our step width y is our tread and z is our thickness of the step so now you can see if you zoom in there are the steps I must change the step width to 5 next thing we want to do is create our landing and our landing is the very top step so the very top step is the last one which is 19.9.833 so I'm going to go to split list and it's going to split the list into two two um, categories I want one which is all the steps and another one which is the landing so it's the ninth is the last step of 20 steps so we want to split 19 steps and one step to do that we need to count the n number of items in the list so I'm going to list length so it says 20 items and then I go to expression and I type in I minus I minus 1 commit changes so it's going to take 20 items and subtract 1 and it's going to output that into A and B A which is our steps 19 items and B will be our landing which is the last step so now we'll reapply our boxes to A our landing I mean our steps and then I'm going to go back to surface, go back to primitive, and grab another interval box. And this will go to B, which will be our landing. So landing width will go into X. The thickness will go into the thickness. And the Y, which will be our landing tread. In case we want a longer landing. So I'm going to rename this box landing and this box steps. And then I'm going to unpreview the VB so I get rid of the points. And the split. So now there you have it, a uh, staircase being controlled directly by the height, the tread, the rise, the thickness, and then you have controls for the landing. It also tells you if the code is passing or failing, and it tells you the number of steps. And that's how you create a staircase with a VB net. And thanks for watching.